before we start, I can't actually prove that I'm not possessed, but I can do this. That was completely unrelated. I just wanted to assert dominance. Moving on, I've got the totally not creepy talent of doing things in my sleep, like sleepwalking, sleep talking, sleep texting, holding eye contact, having full conversations, and sleep writing. <laughs> uh, anyways. I've done weird things in my sleep literally my whole life and no one's ever questioned it. Looking back now, it's probably a stress thing. It was at its worst in college. Eh, whatever. When I was in grade 11, 17 for you non-Canadians, <laughs> I took a physics class to prove to a shitty person that I could get good grades in a tough class. And surprisingly, I failed that class. Hard. The teacher was super intimidating to 17 year old me. I would take one step into that room and instantly have a panic attack. So I ended up skipping a majority of the classes. And it's not like I couldn't do the math. My asshole teacher just used alliteration on every test. So my brain got confused and glitched out. That's not the point. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. All that to say, the stress of failing, sleep deprivation from spending hours studying, and constant anxiety created the perfect environment to develop my new skill. On the odd occasion that I did go to class, I was always so tired I'd end up falling asleep. I always got caught though. So my brain came up with the best solution ever. I started sleeping with my eyes open. But I still got caught for spacing out and not taking notes. I'm still not sure how I managed to teach myself how to do this, but I started noticing notes written in a messier version of my handwriting that I didn't remember writing or hearing. It was kind of a slow realization, but once I figured out what was going on, I was so impressed. My brain was just telling my hand to write the words it was hearing, and it actually works. Three quarters of the time. Sometimes I'd look over my notes and find nonsense like, gravity is like a four, pudding. And my favorite, slope the slope slope equals MX plus the slope. My friend actually watched me write that last one. Pretty sure we got in trouble for laughing too hard in class. There was another instance where I fell asleep in class sitting across the desk from another one of my friends. I felt so bad after she woke me up. But it was only for a few moments. She'd looked up when she noticed I had started dozing off. According to her, my eyes rolled into the back of my head for a moment before I started staring blankly into space. I woke up to her shaking me by my arm with this terrified look on her face. Apparently I'd forgotten to tell her about the whole sleep writing thing. She thought I was having a seizure. She was a really amazing friend. I was a mess back then. I have no idea how she put up with my bullshit for so long. But anyways, I managed to retain that skill past high school and to this very day. It's kind of trippy finding notes on random papers mixed in with my other papers with stuff written on it that I have zero memory of writing. It's either my old skill coming back when I'm stressed, or I have a ghost in my apartment who likes to mess with me. My cat's already found toys in my apartment that I never bought, so both are possible. Percy wants to say hi.